Christmas Carol. Yep, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Window scenes, just like we're uh, at Macy's. Hopefully there's not a lot of glare on the window. Get closer. Your shadow will help. I love watching them. Yeah. They're so cool. The boys trying to decorate. Fancy Week Tea Import Company. <laughs> Magic Kingdom is very busy this morning. Go to the next scene. Most of Christmas present. Oh my goodness, he's shaking so oh hard. Oh my bench. goodness, look at that. Woo. He's shaking. Mickey's Christmas Carol as much as we did. What perfect timing. We just walked out of the Emporium and the horse-drawn trolley is just coming out of the barn. Look at that. We have not seen this before. Look at that beautiful Clydesdale horse. Oh my goodness. So gorgeous. Look at that. We've never seen that before. All the times we've been at Disney, we've never seen the horse-drawn trolley. All right, we gotta get to our first thing. It's a nice, quiet path to take over to Haunted Mansion. That's where we're headed. But as you can see, just ahead of us, in front of the replica of the uh, Liberty Bell and Liberty Square here, this is the Hall of Presidents over here. We're getting ready to run back into the crowd again. Well, we changed our mind about uh, the Haunted Mansion, 45 minute wait time, it's all a quarter of 11 right now, and we have tea reservations at 12.05 at the Grand Floridian, so we still have to allow time to get over there, so we're going to go try something else and see what we can do. We found uh, another quiet pathway to get to Tomorrowland, trying to avoid as much it's of the crowd as possible. Yeah, the wishing well right here. Oh look, wishing well. Wish, it goes to Make-A-Wish Foundation. Okay. This is the other side of the castle. Performance stage is right over here. We've got the moat all the way around. This is the main hub area for where all the shows take place and viewing of the fireworks. And then right over here is Tomorrowland, and that's where we're headed. Well, we made it over to the People Mover, and we have a 20-minute wait, so we're going to try to do this. And once we do this, we'll have to go over to the Grand Floridian and get ready to have tea this afternoon. There it goes right there. That's like unheard of. People mover for almost a half hour, you know it's crowded. Yeah, so we decided to get out of the line because we still have to work our way over to the monorail and get on the monorail. We still have to make a stop at the Contemporary and uh, Polynesian before we even get to the Grand Floridian. So we're going to go on and catch the monorail and get ready for tea. Oh, we go look at the gingerbread house. Yeah, so we'll go look at the gingerbread house. It's so, right. so it's not a total loss. Well, we're taking the monorail around to Grand the Grand Floridian, which is over there. That's where we have to go. It is ungodly hot and sticky. Very humid today. This is the first place where there's hardly any people. And it's going to pour. And as you can see, just right above the Grand Floridian over there, look at that cloud. 
and I'm glad we're going for tea so maybe the rain will come through while we're enjoying our tea this afternoon. Here we go. Here it comes. We made it just in time. My heart rate's at 130. I flipping hot. off the monorail. It has again to rain. It is pouring out there. But hopefully it's going to be a quick pass through. The afternoon should be looking great. We're going to be in here at least two and a half hours to three hours. So uh, we're, going to, we're going to stay out of it. We'll stay dry and the afternoon should be really nice. The Grand Floridian. We want you to see the magnificent lobby of this place when we get in here. Absolutely fabulous in this place. We also have the gingerbread house in here. Well, you can see how grand it is. Oh, yeah. going right back there for tea this afternoon in about 35 minutes. And just on the other side of the Christmas tree is the gingerbread house and we'll take you over there so you can see that as well. Minnie says hello. Put ears on. Yeah. She needs this shirt. I like this one. 35. 35. We're in the merchantile store on the second floor, mercantile store on the second floor overlooking the pool, the Mad Hatter pool or whatever that is. Looks like, yeah, it looks like that could be the Mad Hatter pool. And the, the rain has passed through, the sun is starting to break out, and then that should be it for the rest of the day. We should have uh, great weather for the afternoon. You can see, this is the front of the uh, Grand Floridian, there goes the stuff. monorails to the to Epcot. The rain has stopped over here. And the sun is coming back out. That is a very good sign. There is the gingerbread house. You can see the people working inside. Yeah. It's an actual working house for a store. We're, after we finish our tea, uh, we're going to stop in here and possibly pick up a couple of gingerbread shingles. Those are the same sort of shingles that they use for the rooftop, but they put dark chocolate over them. They're delicious. So we want to make sure we get a few of those before we leave. Oh, and then right up here, later on today, uh, an orchestra plays. So you can come relax, sit in any place in the main uh, lobby area here. You can listen to the music. Usually it's jazz, but now this time of year they'll be playing a lot of Christmas carols. And then this here is the grand stairwell that takes you back down to the first floor. This is an absolutely gorgeous hotel. And then of course here's your elevator that takes you down. You have that option, a nice lounge area where you can come in here and relax in the afternoon, have a, a drink. Enjoy the view of the resort. The what? What'd you say? The Mitzner's Lounge. The Mitzner's Lounge. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Open from 1 to mm -hmm. 12 a.m. That's it. The Mitzner's Lounge. First time we've been in there. Okay. As I was talking earlier about the gingerbread house, you can see the employees down here selling merchandise or gingerbread to the to, uh, 
patrons of the hotel. Or actually, you don't even have to stay in, in these resorts. Uh, be staying here as a guest, but you can come and visit any resort you want to visit. Uh, eat at any of the restaurants you want to eat at. There's no restrictions on that, and they'll let you roam around, but you can't go above certain floors. Uh, only the guests are allowed to do that. Right across the way there is Citrico's restaurant. It's a five-star restaurant, very expensive. We've never, of course, eaten in there, so consider it a signature restaurant. Even though we have used some signature restaurants here, or eaten in some of the signature restaurants, they're pretty good. But uh, you know, some of them have mixed reviews. Some people say that they're halfway decent. Some people say you never know from time to time when you get there. Even though it's a signature restaurant, doesn't mean that it's a good place to eat. Here is the picture of the members of the orchestra at the, that we talked about earlier. What were you saying about the... They're specifically chosen by the Disney management to faithfully recreate the popular American music of the high-spirited age. And it's from the teens, 20s, and early 1930s. Ragtime members, Charleston's Tangles, Walton. Etc. There are six members, and they're run, they're conducted by the drummer Patrick Lloyd. Yeah, and go back to Citrico's. Also in there, it's uh, Victorian Alberts. That is another uh, five-star uh, signature dining. Uh, I watched a video a couple of weeks ago of a, of a blog of the people that come to Disney World quite often. They actually had a meal in there one night. And the total bill for just two people was $750. I just can't imagine spending that kind of money for a meal. Well, this is pretty interesting right here. A barbershop uh, sign here, uh, the Ferris wheel. Some interesting art. This is the uh, entrance to Victoria and Alberts and Citricos is just right through here. This is their waiting area. This is the menu. Basically, the menu per guest is $235, and then the chef's table per guest is $250, with an optional wine pairing available for $150 per person. So be prepared to spend some money if you're going to come here. Oh yeah, as you can see here, this is their five Diamond Award for 2018, AAA, and then the Forbes Travel Guide for 2018, five-star rating. Gingerbread House, Grand Floridian, that was established 1999. Measuring for accuracy, assembling the house, applying the shingles, adding the finishing touches. 20th anniversary, look at that. I didn't realize this was actually a wooden framed out house, and then they just applied all of the exterior uh, after it was constructed. One side of it. Here's the ingredients of the 
Yeah, we'll have to go look at the ingredients. If I can zoom in on that. These are the ingredients. 1,050 pounds of honey, 140 pints of egg whites, 600 pounds of powdered sugar, 700 pounds of chocolate, 800 pounds of flour, 35 pounds of spices, tons of creativity. Yeah, sorry for that. Uh, last frame, somebody walked in front of the ingredients. Away in 14. Garden View Tea Room. Thank you so much. Oh, look at this. Just give you a quick uh, run around here of, Thank you of so our much. Garden View Tea Room. Not a very large space, but it's cozy. And it will be very, very nice. And here's our table. Say hello. Hello. Go ahead. I'm looking forward to tea. Hope it's hot because it's very cold in here. I'm under a vent and it is blowing down the back of my neck, <laughs> which is a little uncomfortable. Well, they delivered our tea. I got the gingerbread tea. Which one did you get? The berry. She got the berry. Enchanted forest. Yeah, the enchanted forest. I got the gingerbread. We have our champagne, and uh, we're getting uh, ready to have a great afternoon of tea. Cheerios. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was so good. Everything has come. We have all of our finger food sandwiches here. We have our three tiers of our tarts. Uh, uh, it's beautiful. Yes, it is. And then we've got our creams back here in the back, and then we have our desserts up at the very top. So this is this is very fancy, very fancy. So we're going to enjoy. Hi, we just finished our proper tea at the Garden View Tea Room. So what do you think about that? As usual, tea was excellent. It was lovely. It's a lot of food. Um, if you decide to book a tea, book it as your lunch <laughs> because they Absolutely. give you quite a bit to eat. I had quite a bit of tea in my pot. <laughs> I got about six cups of tea out of it. Yeah, believe it or not, we got quite a bit of tea out of uh, each pot of, our, of tea that we had. It was wonderful. We had a wonderful time. We had a nice server. She was very pleasant. She was actually from California. She's been here for 12 years working for Disney yeah. and at loves the every, at the tea room. So it's amazing when you start talking to the cast members, where they're from, how long they've worked for Disney. It's, it's just so interesting to just hear their stories. But overall, we had a fantastic time. It was wonderful. Now we're going to kind of peruse through the gingerbread store over here, and then we're going to go back to uh, Magic Kingdom. So we'll talk with you later. Bye. Bye.